Hi, hello, how are you? I am Karen Michaels. And I'm Asia O'Hara. And welcome to a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review! Review. So the All-Stars forecast was just revealed. We are so excited to see what these ladies bring back because they have some money now, honey. And now the rumors are off. Cameron and I were not on All-Stars 4, so now you guys can rest Sorry to disappoint. Sorry, but these girls look absolutely fabulous, most of them. <laughs> oh, some of them, most? like half of them, <laughs> look great. So let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, let's look. So first up, we have the beautiful Valentina. It's me, Valentina. Yes, it is. Now, this is wonderful. I love the way, you know, her body looks. I love the, you know, the paillettes. That's kind of in right now. Yeah, it is. Um, the paillettes are wonderful. Her legs look great, her arms, her lines, her makeup is beautiful. I would have liked a little bit of a different hair, but that's just me. It would have been cool if it was all like over to one side and nice and coiffed, but um, it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful look. What about you? I love this. I think it is very on brand for Valentina. Mm -hmm. um, she's showing body, which I love. It's something I started doing on tour where if you cinch and push your body in a certain way, you can get away without padding. I live that she is cinched just enough that she can show her real legs here and she mm -hmm. looks stunning. She, like you said, she that looks like Valent hourglass. That, that figure. Valentina Barbie. And I love the iridescent little kind of disco um, palettes. Pal what? How do you say Payettes. it? Payettes. Payettes. Payettes? Uh huh. Payette, 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 Payette. Oh, we learn something new every day. Every day. For me, it's a two. I'm gonna agree with you. I think I would have chosen a different hairstyle, mm -hmm. but the outfit is definitely a two for me too. Next up, the heart of season 10, Monique Hart. I love this. I love the hair color. I love the, she calls them her Momojis. Um, a Momoji? Yes, that's what she calls them, her, you know, Monique, like Momo, instead of an emoji, it's like a Momoji. Oh, because she has a face on it? Yes. Got it. Yeah, okay. and a lot of that is a theme in her yes. um, her costuming. So I love how she's kind of taken her gig, her um, aesthetic, and wiggled it right on into this. Love the hair color. Her makeup, as always, looks exquisite. I love it. I think the skirt could have been like a, inch and a half longer to kind of balance out like all those shoulders at the top, but this is wonderful. The face, those eyes look like her. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. I live for this too. I think it's amazing. Monique was one of the girls that, you know, giving her a, a little bit of, of coin to go out there and do what she really wanted mm -hmm. to do that she didn't get to do in our season shows here in this promo picture. And it is very on brand with her with the Momoji. Momoji, yes. Payettes and, and Momojis. Yeah, we got two girls, two new words. She looks fabulous, so I'm tooting it. Love you, girl. Toot. So up next, we have the lovely Pheromone. Oh, I think she looks amazing. She's one of those other girls that can pull off being a little naked, showing a little body without having to pad. She looks beautiful, and she's definitely serving me a naked ice goddess here. Her body looks stunning. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. This oh. is a little lackluster for me, especially for Pheromone. The hair, the makeup, the skin, Flawless. The rest of it is a little, it's a little lackluster. I would, I mean, it essentially is a sequin bra, I'm assuming, with rhinestones. That's great. Um, it's a little predictable. I like the top. The top is cool, but I would have liked a little bit more drama on the bottom. I love her skin. Her pose is beautiful and feminine. She's another girl, like you said, that can get away with, you know, the body sculpting in person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would expect a little more. It's All Stars. All Stars 4. It's definitely a simple costume. Um, there's. Oh, there's a cape there too. Yeah, I know. I had to look twice. I had to look twice like to find it. Almost. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's just I, I would. This is all stars. So for me, I'm sorry, it's a boot. Okay. I am going to say that this would be an amazing outfit to reveal to on stage. Great reveal costume. Something a little more elaborate on top, um, for stage. But she still looks good. So I'm gonna take her. Up next, out of the drag shoot for All Stars 4, we have Gia Gunn. Gia, 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 who is our trans contestant this year. So yes. that's fabulous. Walking in the workroom for the first time for her season, Yes. she was not, she had not transitioned yet. So she is the first openly trans contestant to walk into the show. And you know, and I've been following her transition on yes. social media, mm -hmm. as I'm sure you have, and most yep. of you have. Um, and so that's very exciting to now see it in the flesh. So wonderful. I love that. Um, as far as the outfit goes, I... Uh, Boat. <laughs> <laughs> Boots. Ah, ah. Um, uh, uh, what is it? Is that a, is the middle part a corset? I, I feel like it is a corset and a jacket. I can't see the back if there's like a little bit of like a peplum or something. Or like tails or jacket. something. Um, well, I don't know what more I want from it, but I want a little bit 
more. Maybe a difference in color or something? Maybe it's too monotone for me? You know, all of the elements I like separately. I love the earrings. The earrings are stunning. Those are wonderful. Those are great. Her makeup, of course, is beautiful. The jacket is cool. Like, I like the cut of the jacket, like the collar. You know, I like her pose. Her legs look great. You know, I'm a queen of thinking that feathers go with everything, which is not the <laughs> yes, truth. Yes, that, uh, that is so, you, That is you, But it doesn't all go together to me. I feel like with this, if it were like a, a long trench, mm -hmm. maybe, if it was like a grander coat, mm -hmm. I would totally toot it and I would love it. I don't know. I feel like there's something missing from it to me, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna Yeah, and the hair is a little pedestrian from my taste. Up next, another season 10 girl, we have Monet. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, Monet Exchange. She looks great. This is wonderful. This is how you come in to All Stars. Mm -hmm. That hair. That hair. Oh my God, she looks like a freaking paintbrush. I love it. I love the jacket. Her body looks beautiful. The shoe is cool. Everything fits wonderfully. It's perfect. You know what I'm getting from this? This, if you took out the orange from the promo look from our season. Oh my God, yes. And like that, her 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 orange and a blue look from our season is like the club vibe. Mm -hmm. This is like the upgrade. This is like the queen of the party. And I live for it. I love the high shoulders. I love the cape. Um, I feel like without the cape, it may just be a bodysuit. So the cape definitely sells it to me. And the hair is so right. The hair is so good. Um, and I love Monet in blue. Love it. It's it's lovely. It's This is how you shake it up for All Stars. Mm -hmm. Girls for the future, take notes. Yep. Two. Yes. Absolute two. Up next, her name is Jasmine Masters, and she has something to say with this look, honey. And she has definitely said something. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love this. I love it. Her personality really kind of shines through in her in her looks all the yeah. time, so that is really helping it for me. I love that applique work going down the leg. That's so cool. Yeah. The piece in the hair. I love it. It's a great silhouette for her. I love the pose. I love her face. She looks happy. Mm -hmm. I love the hair. I love everything about this. I love this. I would wear this, and I love the hair. The hair is amazing. Mm -hmm. She kind of looks like Rue a little bit. A little bit. A little bit little like Rue. <laughs> <laughs> if, you walk, if you walk down the runway or walk into the promo looking like Rue, and That's it's something that Rue would wear, you're doing something right. Yeah. So I think she looks amazing. The only thing that I would do different about this is I have this thing with these like goddess type looks that I don't like wearing pumps with. I feel like it should be a little more fantasy. So I would have chosen like maybe a strappy shoe or a strappy yep. boot maybe. Just personal I, preference. I can, I, can, I can get down with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but overall it's an absolute toot. Um, this is one of my favorite looks that I've seen so far. She looks stunning. Yes, toot. Toot. Next up for All Stars 4, we have the beautiful Latrice Royale. Honey, Mama Latrice. Mama is back. What you got what, to girl? say about what that? What you got to say, girl? You, what you, got, you go first. Me, why? I don't want to go first. I, no, you go first. I don't know if I want to go first. Ladies first. Uh, oh, oh. You well, such a woman. Well, in that case. Um, um, well, first off, as a queen who um, learned the hat rule in my season, um, I don't know. I have this vendetta against hats now. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I don't know. Just say what you I think. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I would like it without the hat. I don't know. I mean, the puppy sleeve is kind of cute. No, the earrings are cute. I'm on the fence with this. I like the hair and the hat idea. Like, I think, and I like her pose with it. That's different for her, and it looks, you know, very elevated. Um, I love the side bun. I actually like Latrice when she wears um, light colored hair. I think that's beautiful on her. Um, I think the color is beautiful. Um, I don't I don't know if it's like a powdery blue or is it all silver? That's and that's blue. just the shadows? That's bluish. Okay. It's like a, you know, powdery bluish, metallic kind of silverish. Um, it's just okay to me. Um, it's not ugly by any stretch of the imagination, no, but it's, ugly. it's just okay. So I'm gonna give this a soft, soft toot. I don't want to boot it because, like I said, it's not its not atrocious, it's not ugly. It's just not the level of what I'm seeing from the other girls, so it's a, a, a soft too. Soft too. And I'm not, I don't know if there's nails there that I can't see, but especially in a gig like this when you're like this, I need to see that. Or at the very least, this. This is like the little girl version of what Cameron wears. Up next for All Stars 4, we have the fabulous, wonderful, beautiful 
Manila Luzon. Manila, Manila, Manila. And so great to have like Manila and Latrice together. Oh, back again, again. yeah. Back, 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 back again. They're on All Stars 1 together. Yes, absolutely. So that's kind of cool. This should be juicy. I'm glad they're getting another chance. I already love it. I do too. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. I love the layers, the drippiness. I love, you know, the amount of skin that's showing at the top. Her hand that's down, her fingers look beautiful. All the lines are great. This is wonderful. The garment is wonderful, but let's talk about the, the pose real quick because if you can sell a garment, that does it for me. And you can always tell when a queen knows how to be very like poised when she like has just like one finger or like something tilted. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just serving the look look for me and she's definitely selling this to me. I love it. Her signature hair is here. Mm -hmm. She has her white streak. Does she have like a little icicle maybe coming out? Yes, I believe okay. so. I did that in my season. Do you remember? Yes, sure. I do. I had the icicles for our um, our winter runway. So okay. I, I love this whole thing. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely something that I would wear. Yeah, so it's a two. Absolute two. You look great, gal. Up next for All Stars 4, we have Trinity the Tuck Taylor. I'm already going to toot this. I'm tooting it. I'm tooting it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. But I'm Are y'all seeing this? Do you see what she has on? Are y'all seeing this at home? This literally is near drag perfection. It, it's almost like I hate her. I boy. know. There are certain girls you come across sometimes you're like, girl, I just need to quit drag. <laughs> this is one of those moments yeah, yeah. where I need, matter of fact, I'm done. Girl, come back. I'm back. But in protest, I'm removing an earring. This in, is so, In solidarity of this sickening ass, <laughs> this sickening ass look. It's so good. It's stunning, like it I is said. everything. I love the ruffles, the amount of her leg that's showing and that front leg that's out. Her, you know, the pose looks like she's in motion. Her hair is beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. The nude lip against all of that iridescent is so, so, so spectacular. This is how you show the world that you are an all-star. Yep. I'm all about it. Say something you don't like. I don't have any, I don't have a thing that I don't like about this. Perfect. The relaxed hair, she, she did everything this is a cohesive look. She is wearing the outfit. The outfit is not wearing her by Absolutely. any means. She just looks like she's in it and she's comfortable, but she mm. looks stunning and the outfit is on display. I live. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's a toot. Toot. And last but certainly not least, a fashion icon from her season, Miss Naomi Small. So excited to see Naomi strut those legs mm -hmm. across the All Stars stage this winter. I hope she's not wearing more things that look like this because I do not like it. I just don't. This is like, okay, hair and makeup, wonderful. All black drag queens want to be beautiful and bronzed and glisten. And Naomi, I think, is probably the only black girl that has really mastered that. So I love that. I love her face. I love her, her collarbones and her neck. All of that is nice and beautiful and, and shiny. And she looks like she's, you know, just got through running through, you know, the winter wonderlands. But this garment is giving me, my mom made my ice skating dress. It's a cocktail dress. It's cute. She looks good. But compared to the other garments that we've seen that are a little more over the top, a little more grand, but it's just not up to par with what some of the other girls brought. Naomi has a closet full of beautiful things that I'm sure we're about to see yes. um, on All Stars. This, in my opinion, is not one of my favorites by any stretch of the imagination. It's a boot. Yeah. Trend alert! Guess what it is? Polarizing! Tell them why. So on our season, I feel like the girls were good at proportionizing. So on All Stars 4, they are serving us polarizing. polarizing. I love They're that. all iridescent and beautiful. So. Yes. Like those polarized sunglasses the boys wore mm -hmm. in the 90s. They're iridescent and sparkly and pretty. Our, our top two of the week is... Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Taylor! Good job! I hope we see uh. more of this. You know she's gonna serve us some looks if this is oh. what she brought to the promo shoot, girl. You look stunning. good. You stunning, look good, stunning, gal. stunning, stunning, stunning. So good. So you guys, All Stars 4 is coming to VH1 this winter. I cannot wait to see what these girls are gonna Exciting. bring. Exciting! And check the link below to see if RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 4 is available in your territory on WOW Presents Plus. Girl, come back.